Hey, what's up guys? I'm back here with another episode of best Android apps for this month. Make sure to check out my previous episodes as you will find a lot of useful applications there. And now without any further ado, let's begin. The first one here is the Tufts. This app will bring a shortcut bar to your notification panel. As you can see, we have a row of shortcuts on the notification bar, which is accessible while using any apps or games. And this helps switching between the apps a whole lot easier, as I don't have to go to the home screen over time or app drawer just to launch my favorite applications. These shortcuts are not only limited to apps, but also shortcuts like battery settings, WhatsApp conversation and so on. Opening the app will bring up these options. Home is from where you can modify the shortcuts. Tapping on any shortcut here will give you options to replace it with other apps or shortcuts. You can also choose the number of apps per row, background color, icon settings and other options. From here, you can quickly go back to the previous screen and I must say the animations are amazing. Moving on to the settings, we have options to enable second row, auto start on reboot and hide from the lock screen. So that is, you don't get these shortcuts on your lock screen while accessing the notification panel. You can also choose from different themes, reset the application and so on. So guys, a great app for power users. The next one here is the Lessend. With this app, you can animate text in a picture and save it as a GIF or video. By default, we get a random caption with it. You can tap here to bring up these options like take a picture, import picture from the gallery, search Flickr for pictures and shuffle the captions. You can also type your own caption and then proceed to further editing. So here we have different transition styles as you can see. Looks really nice. Then we have various theme colors. All the transitions blends with the theme colors perfectly and we can create some awesome animated GIFs. Here we have settings to choose the format and resolution. Below you have options to share it or save it to the gallery. However, to share and save the animation as a video requires the pro version of this application. So a very stylish way of sharing pictures with your thoughts animated. Next is Flinks. This app will load the web pages on the background without having to exit the app that you are using. This feature comes in very handy while using social media apps and Google search. Say for example, I'm using Twitter and I want to open this link. With Flinks, I can continue using Twitter while the link gets loaded in the background in this bubble. So that's a really great way of multitasking. Whenever I want to see the web page, I can simply tap on this bubble to check the links. Here we have options to change the web page to reader's view, save the link, share the link and other options. Basically, you can load up to 4 links on the background and unlock 2 more tabs by sharing this app to your friends. Opening this app will give your save links, history and you have the slider menu to go to settings for changing the bubble size, alignment and other browser options. So a great app for multitasking. The next one here is the Adblock Browser. Surfing internet is supposed to be a personal and a smooth experience. But with the huge advancement in the internet marketing, we often encounter annoying ads every now and then. Ads are generally the source of income for many developers who provides us with awesome contents in the internet. And we should definitely support that. But if we surf the internet through mobile data, we definitely do not want to waste our data uses on the ads. So to avoid those unnecessary ads, I suggest you guys to use Adblock browser while you are on mobile data. Basically, you have a fully functional browser. As I search for any website, I get these recommendations on different platforms. So let's go to verse.com and as you can see, 
we don't get any ads on this website. One unique feature with this browser is you can save the current web page as a PDF. Under tools, you have guest mode. That will restart the browser with none of your personal browsing data like saved passwords, history and bookmarks. On settings, you have usual options for customizations, display, privacy, ad blocking and language. So overall a great browser with lots of handy features. The last one for today's episode is 5 wallpapers. With Android, we get multiple home screens. So why not make those screens look attractive with different wallpapers? With 5 wallpapers, basically you can set wallpapers for each of your home screens. First, you can select the wallpapers for each home screen and then choose the number of sets as well. Then you have options like transition effect, 3D effect, infinite scrolling, double tap to change the wallpaper, picture quality and so on. And all these are self-explanatory. Once you are done with this, go back and hit set wallpaper. And there you go. As you can see, we have different wallpapers for each of the home screen. And this is also applicable to your app drawer. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for more videos like these and I will catch you guys in the next one.